Good morning, welcome to First Look Fridays. I'm N64 Josh. We're gonna be playing Ice Cream Surfer today. I know that you are as excited as I am to play Ice Cream Surfer. So from what I know about this game, it is a side-scrolling shooter with broccoli that's evil. Here we go. Tired of the kids that love ice cream and hate vegetables, the evil broccoli gathers an army. Oh, man. Oh, man. His plan is to destroy the flavor universe. <laughs> so evil. <laughs> and to force everyone to eat tasteless vegetables. Only they can stop him. <laughs> Is it like Pop-Tart Man? What is that guy? Ice Cream Sandwich Man? <laughs> Ice Cream Surfer. Here we go. Looks like you can do two-player. Ooh, who do we pick first? So many choices. We're just going to go with the... The kid that looks kind of like Lil Samson. Here we go. <laughs> Kirby Geek says, <clears throat> I like broccoli and ice cream. That's okay. That's okay. So, <clears throat> loving the artwork so far. Nintendo had mentioned I'm a sucker for, uh, I'm guessing he meant good pixel art, even though it says Google. Whoa. What did I just, whoa. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Classic. Using the Pro Controller. Playing with the D-pad. Because, you know, that's what you got to do. What <laughs> This game is quirky. Look at these guys. So I immediately use some kind of power move. Uh oh, don't let PETA see that we just shot a killer whale. So <clears throat> this game definitely has a, uh, an R type feel to it, which I am definitely okay with. Takes me back to like UN Squadron, which is also another another game I like. I'm very impressed with the uh, with the pixel art. When I saw this game, just watching video from my phone, I thought it was going to look more like uh, I don't know the best way to put it, but you guys know the the modern the modern games that are kind of like like Shantae. Like that game looks really good, but it's not it's not pixel art, you know, and so. Sometimes those games remind me a little bit more of like flash games instead of like just your your, your standard I don't know sixteen bit that kind of thing. So hey, Frozen Falcon, what's going on? Welcome. So it looks like weapon upgrades are taking place when I grab a different a different ice cream treat oh yeah danger classic polar bears on ice cream that's what I'm saying is he shooting hearts at me because it looks like something you'd want to pick up Oh no, don't hit the hearts. Frozen Falcon, you're very, very sleepy. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm fairly certain drugs were used in the making of this game. Or one of the designers was eating breakfast with their kid and they told him the idea for this game. <laughs> hey, Dad. 
I don't think it was dinner. I think it was dessert. Dad, after me, you made me eat that broccoli today, can we talk about a game I want to make? See, this ice cream is delicious, but that broccoli... Dad, it kind of just smelled like feet when you were cooking it, and... Well, I really didn't want to have to eat it. But you made me. I feel like broccoli's the villain here, Dad. I don't care if it can make me healthy. Ooh, a, oh, we're spilling ice cream. <laughs> I thought it was a blue popsicle. <sighs> the poor pear, you know? Oh, come here. Oh, I missed it. Okay, now we got we got a little better guns here. We're doing some upgrades. I love this gameplay. Honestly, like, I cannot believe how much I'm enjoying this. Love the gameplay, love the artwork. The the music is is not too bad. Oh yeah, just run into all of them. This make believe kids getting under my skin. <laughs> <laughs> this make-believe kid was was uh, designed after myself. <laughs> so it looks like I'm charged up for a power move. I think you... Let's see. I th I'm going to hit B here. Let's see what happens. I kind of want to make sure there's some... Like a lot of stuff on the screen, though. Like... I can't believe I missed this on the Wii U back in the day. <laughs> kind of tasted like feet, too. Oh, my bad, guys. There's no game sound right now. Let me pause it real quick. Let me know how that volume is. Sorry about that. I always have to turn the game sound off when I do, uh, when I do the Smash Bros. cast, so... Forgive me. So, funny story about, uh, about broccoli and children. My oldest son hates vegetables. Well, I shouldn't say he hates them, but he's not a big fan. So, what? This guy's controlling this giant vegetable beast. Um, when it would come to certain vegetables, though, it was like an episode of Fear Factor, trying to watch him eat eat vegetables. So, you know, we didn't we didn't it, it just didn't always work out so good. But when it comes to broccoli, he'll eat it raw, just not cooked. He's like, don't don't cook that, and I'll eat it. This this game kind of has the uh, it almost has a like a cuphead feel to it, you know, like these these giant over the top bosses and just a lot going on on the screen. Oh, yeah, we're playing Ice Cream Surfer. We are destroying the evil that is fruits and vegetables in the name of ice cream.
Oh no, the chocolate covered bananas took me out. Look out for the croissants. The difficulty's ramping up. I wonder if we're going to finish this game and then realize, like, hey guys, we can all be friends. Broccoli and ice cream can live together in the same world. What? Is that like a Pop-Tart in a bikini? <laughs> what am I shooting at right now? <laughs> Why are Pop-Tarts wearing bikinis? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm okay. Maybe it was a toaster strudel, not a pop tart. Sorry, Bikini Pop-Tart. No one is welcome here. Isn't a Pop-Tart kind of a dessert? I mean, we're shooting desserts now. Oh, no. They've all... They've all been turned against me. What's happening? The chocolate fountain. Hot cocoa. Look at the background, guys. I'm I'm enjoying the background art too. Like overall, this is a very, very pretty game. I don't I don't know exactly uh, who developed it or how many people were involved, but I, I have uh, I have a feeling it was a pretty small team, possibly just one person. Danger. Danger. Half thumb, what's going on? Let's hit him with a power shot. With our powers combined! I feel like I didn't even land a shot there. That's unfortunate. Oh, don't get hit by those hearts. Oh, I have to shoot him in the heart, too. Noted. Oh, my goodness. Okay, stay back. No place is safe. Oh no! Oh no! No! Continue! Put me in, coach! Let's see, if this is truly old school, we'll start at the beginning. Nope, right at the boss, okay. Alright, so... We gotta stay back, let him do his thing here. And then stay back. You can only hit him. Oh. <laughs> Did you guys hear it scream? Like, oh, wow. Nope. Shooting strawberries, they're not hearts. No, get out of the way. Okay. Whew. And they say you don't learn with games. <laughs> that boss takes the cake. Oh my goodness. Now the puns are rolling in. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? So. Are we shooting, I think we're shooting bowls of pho, maybe, some ramen maybe, I don't know. Oh no, oh no, continue, 
Don't be sad, Cupcake. It's melting. Continue. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna be okay. Those look like they might have been sushi, but I'm not entirely sure. Wow, there's a lot of bullets on the screen. Oh. Your life, I'll take it. Oh. Sushi with his tongue hanging out. Nothing like eating food that can taste you back, am I right? Uh oh. Oh, get out of here, chopsticks. Get out of here. <laughs> we need all the extra lives we can get. Look at that little pile of wasabi on his, uh, on top of him there. Spicy. The Dark Souls of Cupcake Shooters. So I gotta say, I'm impressed with with the overall look of this game, the feel of this game. Each level is fairly unique. The enemies are fairly unique. Not quite sure how long the game is, but so far very impressed. Oh, I died. What is wrong with me? Oh. Also a nice touch, I've been pressing the button over and over again. You don't have to do that. You can just uh, hold it down. So the tr Huh, the triggers change the brightness, apparently. Is that what I'm seeing? There we go. Oh, I didn't know I couldn't run into that. I got killed by something that wasn't even shooting me. Uh, I did pick normal, yes. Yeah. We're just hating food from all regions in this game. I, apparently. I think, I think we're going to find out at the end that it was like... They were brainwashed by the broccoli. And we can all be friends. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. So. Power up! This just reminds me of a game that you would find on the Super Nintendo. And look at the, the the background also changes. Like it's not just the same the same picture over and over again. Like there was there was some work put into this game. I love it. I love finding little gems like this. Like I I I I will recommend the heck out of this game. Cuphead with ice cream. Yeah, dude. It's really a good time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, ramen. Easy. Easy there. <laughs> this is one of those things, it's like, uh, you know when your, your DVD player goes into standby and you just want to see it hit the corner of the screen? That's what this boss is like. Like, 
Please, just hit the corner. Please. Oh, I knew it was going to hit me. Oh, I still have one life left. Okay. <laughs> oh, that looks horrible. Um, I'm actually not even sure the price tag. I don't even know if this game is out yet. Now we're just going to kill light bulbs? How are they evil food? I don't understand. Matches? The matches light themselves, like... I love that animation. That's a bright idea. Oh my gosh, you guys and your puns today. <laughs> Kirby. Oh, a volcano went off. So things we used to cook are also evil. There you go. Look at the... What? There's a giant turtle. It's like the never-ending story. Oh. oh, no, game over. So it looks like you have as many continues as you want, so that's nice. Did it, it was the price tag eight dollars? Is that is that confirmed? Does anybody know? Oh, what am I doing with myself? Yeah, let's do it. I'll just I'll just die right now and pick someone else. It is $8, and it's on the eShop right now. So there you go. Don't miss it. Go get it. Who do you? Who should we do? Should we do... Uh, let's, let's try her out. She's got sweet blue hair. Oh, so, yeah, that's different than just shooting straight forward. just pretty much cleared everything out. And don't forget, this is co- I believe this is two players. The the way the screen looks, look, a second controller could hit start, so... If you got somebody to do some couch co-op with, or tabletop mode, or whatever. And the other nice thing about this game, the way it controls, single Joy-Con, no problem. I feel like that turtle's looking into my soul. I'm gonna die. There was no way around that. Oh, he's playing with fire. Oh, 
Whoa. Wait, no big fella. Oh, that's my last life. Alright. Let's try twin pops here. The shooting sound. Yeah, for her that was a kind of an annoying sound, wasn't it? Oh, this... What? This guy's a little more of a... Like a melee character. His, uh, his gun sounds not quite as bad. It looks like he turns into two people, though, when the popsicle gets split. Hitbox is pretty big too. We're gonna go someone else. Here we go. Let's try the Yeti. Let's try the Yeti. So personally, I like that there's some difficulty to this game. It's not too easy. I'm playing on normal. I think that last guy did get cut in half. I'm not it, that's what it looked like. I love how this guy's like basically the Hulk. When he gets hit, he shrinks back to normal size. I mean, have you ever seen anything cooler than molten rock with sunglasses on? Come on. Oh, I can't get through. Oh, man. Alright, we have do we have one character left to try? Yeah, here we go. This guy's like ice cream sandwich. This guy's like rampage. Yeah, he totally is. He totally is. He's got lasers. Shooting lasers from his eyes. I like his attack. I feel like I'm able to take stuff out from a distance, which is nice. He's like George, yep. Oh, I'm the chat. like that one Superman game like Superman 64 is that what we're talking about <laughs> that that one he's also a Neo looks like a Neapolitan uh, ice cream sandwich I see a little strawberry and a little chocolate
<laughs> we never talk about that one. Don't mention it by name. My bad. Sorry. That should be the game, like... I think when we hit some kind of milestone, I'll have to play that game through to completion on stream. What do you guys think? Come on! <laughs> Sega Genesis? I feel like I might have played it. I feel like Superman's always been hard to do in video games because it's like, uh, why does he have a life meter? He's Superman. I, I was so excited for that popsicle that I died. Too bad. Are we really that cruel? <laughs> I'm not watching that stream. Okay. Well, hey, this has been Ice Cream Surfers. I'm in love. We've had about 15, 20 minutes with the game. This is awesome. Really glad to see it's on the Switch. $8. This is like, this, this to me is one of those like hidden gems that like people need to know about it. So if you're, if, if, you like this style of game this thing knocks it out of the park so pick it up if you have any questions let me know in the comments thank you for watching and uh, we'll definitely be talking about this on the nintendo powercast definitely we're making hates buying this one we're making eric buy this one so thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next video